All right. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, everyone. How you doing? How's everybody Monday? Hey, Chanel. Hello. Yolanda and Cheryl Latoria. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to see y'all. Hello. Hello. All right. So, Crystal, you want to check, make sure we're good in the actual group group? Yes, ma'am. And we are live. All right, awesome. So everyone, today we're going to call a play, but I need to go back to the conversation that we were having about the $3 million seats. Um, it was pretty late last night when we started talking about it. And so I want to kind of go back to it. And I also want to reiterate um, certain things about it. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen to give just a snapshot of the matrix tree. And everybody has access to this in their Planet Marketing back office. And if you remember yesterday, uh, last night, we were talking about the $3 million seats. And I explained about these $3 million seats. So I'm going to go back through the explanation, take you through everything that happened with my $3 million seats again, so that you can understand the importance of why when a new business partner starts this business, we want to launch you within the first 24 to 72 hours, all right? So this is me at the top. The first person, and I will tell you, I joined on a Friday and Mr. Scott launched me and my guests, me with my guests on Sunday. So literally it was within 48 hours that we launched my business. Now, the first person to partner with me was my dad. My dad is retired. So what do retired people like to do? Travel. What do their retired friends like to do? Travel. So starting a travel business to supplement his retirement income made sense to my dad, okay? However, keep in mind, when I got started, Planet Marketing was not even a year old yet. None of us knew what the heck we were doing, <laughs> right? We just knew we had something good and we were going to keep going, right? Well, a few weeks after my dad gets started, he realized Planet Marketing was network marketing. And my dad said he didn't want anything to do with the marketing side because he did not want people making money off of him. <laughs> and I said, daddy, that's not how it works. He's like, I don't care. I don't care. I don't want anything to do with the marketing side. I just want the travel agency side. I said, okay, fine. So a few weeks later, I'm clicking around my back office, trying to learn my new business, come across this matrix tree. And I saw at the time, my dad had 71 people in his matrix. And I'm like, who are these 71 people? My dad hasn't enrolled anybody. He hasn't even logged in. He doesn't even have the password to get into Planet Marketing. Who are these 71 people? And when I started to look at who these people were, these were people that I had enrolled in the business that had spilled over into his matrix. So had my dad enrolled four or five people at the time, he would have been getting $284 a month in residual income just based off of my efforts alone because he was in my number one million dollar seat. And so when I realized that, I was like, oh my goodness, I can't, I can't let this account go. So I call him up. I said, hey, daddy, I know you don't want to do anything with the marketing business, but I'm going to take over that leg of business and build it. He said, I don't care. Do what you want to do. So I created a multi-partner LLC making me the managing member. And the next few people that wanted to join the business, I enrolled them under my dad. Well, as of today, this account right here brings in over $1,000 a month into my household. Why? Because some of those 71 people 
kept telling people who tell people who tell people. And now there's almost 300 people in this matrix, right? So because my dad did not launch his business, did not fill up his million dollar seats, right? These are his million dollar seats. These are my million dollar seats, right? So the first three people go into your million dollar seats. Because my dad did not launch his business, did not fill in his million dollar seats, because I was running with the business, I ended up filling them for him. So again, the importance of you all launching your business or your new business partner, getting them launched within the first 24 to 72 hours is because if they don't fill up their million dollar seats quickly, somebody else will, their sponsor will, if their sponsor's running, right? Let's talk about my number two million dollar seat. This was a young lady named Stephanie who was with me in my health and wellness network marketing company, right? And Stephanie had a really strong why. She said, Tanisha, I want to make enough money to retire my husband because he does construction. I said, okay, let's do it. Let's do this business together. Now, Stephanie ended up only wanting to book travel. Had I known that, I would have never put her in my million dollar seat. But again, like I said, this was Planet Marketing was less than a year old and we did not know what we did not know. A few months after she got started, she comes to me and she says, I'm canceling the business because I have a special needs son. He's being bullied at school and I'm feeling overwhelmed. I got to deal with the school board and the principal and the teacher. And she's like, I just don't have time for this right now. I need to focus on my family. And I said, Stephanie, please don't quit your business. I said, deal with your family, do what you got to do with your family and then come back and, you know, let's build this business. I thought you wanted to retire your husband, this, that, and the other. She said, no, 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 I need to make my family a priority. So Stephanie quit Planet Marketing and IntelliTravel. But guess what I kept doing? Enrolling people. And guess what? I enrolled this person. I enrolled this person. I enrolled this person. I ended up filling up her million dollar seats with people that I enrolled because she was not filling them up herself, right? Again, when you enroll someone in the business, the computer just looks for the next available seat. And that's where they put the new person. You don't get a choice. So if you don't fill up your three seats, the computer is just gonna end up filling them with someone your sponsor enrolls, right? Well, Stephanie canceled. And as of today, if she would have stuck and stayed in the business, she would have been getting somewhere between three and four hundred dollars a month in residual income just based off of my efforts alone because she is in my million dollar seat. So moving on. Third person joined the business, my best friend. Thank God. She saw the light. <laughs> she saw the money. And guess what? She enrolled her cousin. She enrolled one of our coworkers and our second coworker, Director Cynthia Raley, who is now a four star director. Because my best friend, Director Camette Turner, was enrolling people. When I enrolled someone, it looked for the next available seat and it wasn't in hers. It was somewhere over here because guess what? This person has three seats. This person has three seats. This person has three seats. So as I'm enrolling people, they're filling up these seats. But because my best friend was running too, she was filling up her own matrix. Okay. So this is why. It is so important to launch your business within the first 24 to 72 hours so that you have the opportunity to fill your million dollar seats with sharp, ambitious, driven professional, professionals who want to build. Because here's the thing, if I would have known Stephanie was a quitter or only wanted to book travel, I would not put her in my million dollar seat. 
Because do you have any idea how many single parents would love to be in Tanisha Burke's million dollar seat? Getting almost $400 a month just off of my efforts, not even their own efforts, just off of my efforts. And so now nobody gets that money. As we all say, Mr. Bradley gets to keep that money and make another video with it. And I get 10% of zero, which is zero, right? Because you get a 10% override on your personal reps residual income. Well, I don't get a 10% override on that three to $400 a month because it doesn't get paid out. And so this is why I'm saying when you start the business, and let me ask this with those of you that are on right now, how many of you, and be honest, and if you're watching in the group, I want you to put in the chat, how many of you pushed back when your sponsor or coach or leader said, okay, we need to launch your business tomorrow or the next day or whatever? How many of you pushed back on that and just kept delaying it, delaying it, delaying it? Latoria, can you come off mute? Let's talk about it. And thank you so much for being honest. I really appreciate it. Tell me about that. Um. So I did, I, I delayed it for a little while, but um, I had my own personal reasons for um, not wanting everybody to know right then. I just kind of wanted to, like I wanted to tell people myself before they saw it like on Facebook and whatnot. That was just it. Okay, so now that you know about these million dollar seats, do you wish you would have listened to your coach? can't answer that because the way that you explained it is totally different than the way that I learned it so okay okay that's fair that's fair that's fair and and again this is why this is why we went through the whole exercise yesterday so let's go back to the conversation for yesterday we went through typically when I'm onboarding a new business partner I talk about you know, the million dollar seats. And I said, okay, you got a million dollar company. You have to assign the president, the vice president and the CEO. Who do you trust to fulfill those positions, right? And so let's say I'm having this conversation with uh, Director Brown. So Director Brown, come off mute. Let's let's kind of role play this, mm-hmm. right? So I'm on, I just had the game plan interview with you, right? We're going through everything. and. I say, okay, now we need to launch your business. Um, Let's see, today is Monday. I want to get you launched either tomorrow, no later than Thursday. No later than Thursday. I want to launch your business. And we have to fill your $3 million seats, right? And imagine I just went through the whole conversation that I just showed you. I showed you the the matrix. I explained the $3 million seats. I even share with you what happened to my $3 million seats. Mm -hmm. And I ask you now, If you just started a million dollar business and you have to appoint the president, the vice president and the CEO, Crystal, who would you trust? And I want you to think of people that are sharp, ambitious, driven, professional, people with good work ethic, with integrity, money motivated, maybe people who like to travel. Who's the first person that comes to your mind? My brother. Okay, and what's your brother's name? Rashi. Rashi? Yep. Okay. So tell me why to tell me a little bit about Rashi and why do you think he would deserve one of your million dollar seats now knowing how important these seats are? He is very hardworking. He works very, very hard. He loves people. He's always the one talking to people. He's always breaking the ice. He's not shy. He'll talk to anybody. So just him being that people's person, being as hardworking as he is, I would give him that million dollar seat. Okay. Now let me ask you this. Is he money motivated? Does he work hard because he's, you know, trying to make a lot of money or he just likes to not be bored? Money motivated for sure. Okay. So I want you to write him down and next to his name, I want you to put money. And because you said, I heard you say that he, he he talks to a lot of people and stuff. So would you say that he has a really good network of people? He probably never met an enemy, right? Nope. He has a good network of people. 
Okay, so next to his name, I want you to put network and money. Who's the second person you're thinking about? Uh, my, my mom, my mom. What's mom's name? Mom is Janice. Okay, so tell me why would Janice deserve one of your million dollar seats? Because she's my mom and because she's also been an entrepreneur my entire life. She's always ah. been an entrepreneur. So she has a very large network of people and owns two businesses. Okay. So next to Janice, put entrepreneur and network. And who's next? My sister. Okay. Tell me about your sister. Um, very people person she is a, a ball of fun everybody loves her everybody's her friend and she also is an entrepreneur okay and what's her name yeah 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 okay so put yeah yeah down all right so basically ladies and gentlemen i've now helped crystal come up with three people right but I'm going to have her continue to make the list of 10 to 20, right? Depending on Crystal and her network, right? Some people don't really have a, a big network. They just don't. They're just very inclusive, seclusive, and they just don't know a lot of people. So she might only be able to come up with 10, and that might be hard for her, right? But if she is, because she comes from a long line of entrepreneurs, it seems in her family, she's probably very outgoing and could easily think of 20 really good quality people, right? And so I'm going to have her put next to each person um, what qualifies them. Because see, here's the thing about the million dollar seats. You don't get a do-over. If you put someone in and then they cancel, it's just a dead seat. You don't get to go back and put somebody else there because we don't get to place people in planet marketing. There's a lot of network marketing companies where you can actually enroll someone and place them in the matrix. That doesn't happen here, right? Now, once we, once she does that, then we're going to go to, uh, um, so I'm in the 40 days, 40 night boot camp. I want y'all to go back to the files and I want you to click on pre-launch invitation. And now this is a script. You do not have to use it. You should personalize it any way you can if you do decide to use it so that you don't sound scripted. But the reason why I have scripts, and let me say this, because there's a there's a lot of people who don't like scripts. They're like, ah, oh, people sound scripted. But do you realize when you are watching a movie, right? Let's say you watch a movie and it has Robert De Niro in it. Do you realize he was given a script for the movie and he reads the script, but then he, so once he reads the script, he gets an understanding of what the director or the writer of that movie was trying to say. And then he kind of makes it his own. He's going to ad lib. He's going to add some things, you know, take some. He's not going to read it exactly the way the script is written. And so it's the same thing here. So like when I got started in this business, I remember being at work and, you know, I, want, I need to build the business, right? And I'm being targeted at my job. And my co one of my coworkers was at the copy machine. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to talk to her today. I'm, I'm a peak her interest. I'm, I'm going to say... And I, it was like double Dutch. And I'm like, okay, should I go in? What, what, what do I say? Do, what, should I say something? Do I not say? That? I was scared because I was like, why is it so hard for me to walk up and talk to my coworker? Like, I just didn't know what to say. How have you felt like that? You just, it's like, you want to talk to them. You know, they're a decent prospect. They probably would like, but you just don't know what, you don't even know how to start the conversation. That was me. And so a lot of times when I'm doing a training or I come up with something, I'm also looking at it from my perspective when I was where you were. And so for me personally, what got me talking to people, I just needed, I need some type of script to have an idea of what the conversation should look like. And then I could take it and make it my own and run from there. But I just had no clue because in my other network marketing business, we didn't have to do that. 
I was selling, you know, vitamins and protein shakes. That was easy. But this, I was like, I don't know what to say or how to say. So I was, I was looking for um, an example of what should this conversation look like? Once I get an idea of what it looks like, then I can kind of take it and make it my own. So that is the only reason why I came up with scripts, because if you are like me, you needed that idea of what the conversation looked like. Now, some of you are just, you're just, you have the gift of gab and, and talking to people is just natural. That just wasn't for me. So also understand in this business, everybody is not you. Everybody's not like you. There are some people who find it so easy to just strike up a conversation with people. And then there's other people who have like a quick heart attack with the thought of having to open their mouth and talk to someone, <laughs> right? So understand you're going to have both. So this script is not, mandato not mandatory. It is just an example of what the conversation should look like so that then you can kind of take it and make it your own. Yes, that sounds good. All right. So let me share with you this pre-launch script. So if I'm going, again, I'm an, I just enrolled or did the first part of the orientation with Crystal and she's now, I helped her come up with the first three people for her top 10, right? And then she's gonna come up with the rest of the people. And then I'm going to give her this script. So I'm going to say, Crystal, you said Rache has a good network and he's money motivated, right? So anytime you're going to invite someone to something, you always want to be in a hurry. If you're in a hurry, then they understand that they don't have, they, they can't stop and ask you a whole bunch of questions, right? So she's going to call her brother. Hey, bro, right? She, she ain't going to say, hey, Rache, she probably call him bro, whatever, right? How are you? Listen. I don't have a lot of time right now, but I just want to reach out to you real quick. Uh, I'm not sure if mom told you, right? She's talking to her brother, right? But I started a new business project and I'm super, super excited about it. And I'm having a private virtual business launch, uh, um, pre-launch on Wednesday at 8 p.m. I'm only inviting a few of my close family and friends that I know love and support me like you do and can really benefit from the information being shared. And bro, I thought of you because, you know, you know, a lot of people, you have an amazing network of people and I know you like money. Mm -hmm. And so can I count on you to be there or should I cross you off my list? That's it. He's either going to say yes or no. Most people don't want to be crossed off the list. I learned that from director said Shedrick White, right? But you have to show value in the invitation. Now, because she said you have a, a great network and I know you like money, he's probably going to join. Now, let's, let's flip it. Let's say she called and some of you, and I want you to be honest and tell me if you've ever done this. You reach out to somebody and you say, hey, Latoria, I just started a new business and I want you to come take a look at what I'm doing. Anybody ever do an invitation like that? I started something and I want you to come look at what I'm doing. Let me tell you why that don't work. Let's say Latoria was doing that to me. And she's launching, she's doing a pre-launch on Friday night at eight. And that's the same night, my real, 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 real what is it? Housewives, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's that night. Do you think? I'm going to not get on Real Housewives to get on the Zoom to see what she's doing. I'm not. Because let me be honest with all of you. Nobody cares that you started a business. They don't. The only person that might truly, truly care is your mama. But outside of that, nobody cares. Why? Because do you realize right now People have life happening to them. They struggling with food. They are struggling with gas. They are struggling with these bills, these kids. They're dealing with a lot. So if you are just inviting someone to a meeting to see what you're doing, that's a weak invitation. 
weak. You have to add value, right? Let's say, for example, uh, Yolanda knows Marley. And Marley is a single mom, two kids working two jobs. Yolanda just started her business and she identified Marley as someone she would be okay with being in one of her million dollar seats. So now Yolanda is gonna put next to Marley's name, like when I ask her, okay, so Yolanda, tell me about Marley. Why would she qualify to be in one of your million dollar seats? And she says, well, you know, Marley definitely could use the money because, you know, she's a single mom. She has two kids and, you know, she's already working two jobs. So I'm put great right next to Marley's name. I want you to put um, two jobs, two kids. Time freedom. So now when Yolanda goes to call Marley, hey, Marley, listen, I don't have a lot of time, but I wanted to reach out to you real quick. Listen. I found it. I just started a new business. I'm so excited about it. And I'm having a private business launch with just a few of my close family and friends on Friday night at eight o'clock. And I'm only inviting, you know, people that I feel will support me and can really benefit from the information. And I thought of you, Marley, because I know you're working two jobs and you would like to have more time with your children. Wouldn't you like to get rid of one of those jobs? I know you do. And so I want to invite you again. I'm only inviting a few of my first, uh, close family and friends. Can I count on you to be there or should I cross you off the list? So now Marley is going to be like, oh, you got something that can get me out of these two jobs. Oh yeah. I'm going to be there. Why? Because you made it about her. Mm -hmm. and not about you nobody's going to do anything just for you but your mama but you offered marley a solution to her problem marley i'm going to show you a way where you could possibly drop one of those jobs and have more time with your children now she has a vested interest and in, she'll cut the real housewives off because you're going to show her how she can get rid of one of those jobs so when you're working on your list, and this isn't even just for your pre-launch, this is anytime you're inviting anybody to anything. You could be inviting someone to a hotel meeting. You could be inviting someone onto our seven o'clock presentation, Sunday through Friday. It doesn't matter. But if you're invited, you can be inviting them to look at the big picture video. Just if you can identify what their need is, you just make that need part of the invitation. Mm -hmm. And now it's easy because here's this, no one is going to say no to something that's in their own best interest. Marley's not going to say, I'm getting on that. I don't care if you can help me eliminate one of these jobs. Because Real Housewives come on Friday night. I'm going to give that up to possibly be able to get rid of one of my, no, but you see what I'm saying? It don't make sense, right? Let's say Kevinikia and Lacey, right? Kevinikia knows Lacey lives in an apartment. Why? Because Lacey always complaining about her neighbors. She always complaining about the rent going up, right? So Kevinikia is gonna, Lacey, listen, I don't have a lot of time. I just wanted to reach out to you real quick, um, but not sure if you're aware, I started a new business project. I'm super excited about it. I'm having a private business launch on Friday night at eight o'clock. And I'm only inviting a few of my close family and friends that know, that know me, support me, and can benefit from the information. And Lacey, I thought of you because you're always complaining about your neighbors. And this could be something that could help you put together, make some extra money for a down payment so you could buy a house. I know you've been talking about wanting to, you know, move into a house so your kids have a backyard and stuff. This is something that could help you earn the extra income to do that. Can I count on you to be there or should I cross you off the list? What's Lacey going to say? What's the meeting ID? Because <laughs> she wants that house. She wants the house. 
Now, Kevin Ikea said, Lacey, I'm not sure if you're aware, I started a new business. I'm so excited about you. I'm having a launch on Sunday night and I want you to come and, and take a look at what I'm doing. What's Lacey? There's a good chance. Well, you know what? I got something going on Sunday night. Kevin Niki, I'm super happy for you, but that's not a good night for me. What's, what's, what's in it for Lacey? Nothing. She busy. She got life happening. Does this make sense to y'all? Latoya, I see you shaking your head. What are your thoughts about how to invite Latoya Young, Coles? <laughs> Go ahead, unmute yourself. There you go. I'm going to be honest with you, Director Burke. I have had an issue with inviting people. It's always been, always. Well, I always got an excuse for everything. And mm -hmm. the one person that I had interest, she and I bump heads constantly. Mm -hmm. Constantly. Mm -hmm. And I'm constantly reaching out, constantly reaching out. She says she's still interested. But whenever I call her, you know, I, I never get the response, you mm -hmm. know, or she don't, she doesn't answer the phone. So I don't know, but I understand where you're coming from. <laughs> okay. What are your thoughts about um, how using the script to add value or how tying what they need to the invitation to show value? Um, what you know about that person, you know, try to put more of what you know into it and try to relate to them more to pull them in you know and it's there but I'm having a brain fart right now okay no problem no problem Marley you want to speak on this you're on mute there you go yeah again okay so I um I, like I was, I just put in the chat that I don't have a problem talking to people. I can talk to, I could, I could talk to an Eskimo and probably try and sell him ice if I needed to. But the, what, what gets me is not saying enough, not saying too much, having that tact between initiating and piquing their interest, but not giving them too much information because I do talk a lot. Mm -hmm. And then at the same time, um, doing it in that hurry, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? like mm -hmm. trying to hurry. The part about giving them value, I think is the most important thing. Those are the ones that were are interested that I've already reached out to because I know what it is that they're looking for. And that's what I've tried to tap into. Good. So in that aspect, but those, those are people that I know. Right. Like I know. But then right. like, was it this past week, I went to the mall and I ran into a friend of a friend. Mm -hmm. And then I started talking to her and and it's one of those things that you start talking, you know a little bit about her because I don't know her that well, but I know a little bit about her because we've run into each other in a couple of uh, gatherings and stuff, barbecues and stuff. And so, um, you know, I was asking her about her family, about things going on in her life. And, and I was trying to do it like, well, I'm in a hurry. But at the same time, <laughs> I was trying to tell her a little bit about the, giving her like trying to peek into that. And I just felt like I was I was stumbling, like I wasn't very confident and saying it and like not giving enough but not giving too much and so that's where I think I'm 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 a little shaky mm -hmm. you know so in that but situation you don't really need to be in a hurry mm -hmm. in that situation that was just a perfect opportunity for you to just kind of build rapport and just kind of right like you said you know a little bit about her but you don't know a whole lot about her so right. that was been the opportunity and you said you you met you ran into her at the mall that would have been the perfect opportunity to say, you know, we should have lunch one day or go out for coffee. Yeah, or something like I that. did. I invited yeah. her to coffee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and so you don't need to peek her at that moment. Right now, you just need to build rapport with her. Gotcha, because gotcha, it's over gotcha. coffee or lunch or dinner that y'all going to get into some more in-depth conversation. And mm -hmm. then come up with, you know, you're going to ask her, you know, so what do you do? You know, and she's going right. to talk about her job. And then guess what she's going to ask you? Well, what do you do? And right. You right, have right. the opportunity to share. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's so, but this specifically in this scenario, mm -hmm. your coach is saying, okay, we're launching your business in two days and I need you to come up with a list of people. And now you need to call these list of people and invite them mm -hmm. 
Hey, listen, I don't have a lot of time, but I just wanted to reach out to you real quick. I have some other phone calls that I'm making, but da, 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 da. Right. So that scenario, it's very easy to be, I'm in a hurry. Oh, gotcha. Okay. I have some other calls I got to make, but your scenario, totally different than what we're okay. 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 Tonight with you have your list of 10 people. Now you have to in, um, invite them to your. Pre- okay. 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 Gotcha. 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 All that right. makes sense. Yeah. Crystal, are you, are you, um, I was going to go into the Facebook group and see if anybody had any questions there. I don't want to exclude anybody, but everybody might be on here tonight. There's no, I've been looking in no questions. A lot of people just great trainings. Um, you explain everything so well, you're the best trainer, director. Of our, <laughs> um, everyone's just agreeing to, to what's being said, but no questions. Okay, good, good. So, Director Brown, you want to talk about the play that we're calling tonight? Or what do you have to contribute to this topic that we're talking about right now? And did you have issues with with launching and inviting and that whole thing? So, the one thing that I'm, I'm hoping everyone is getting is that when your sponsor, your coach, your director, whoever, when you got started and they told you to think of these people, they told you you're going to launch your business. I hope now it's making sense of why you were told to do that. And now it's making sense of why you should not have waited, right? And oh, so many people, oh, I got to learn everything first. Let me look at some of the videos first. Let me do this first. Let me do that first. And while you're doing all of that, somebody else could potentially fill your seats while you're doing all of this learning and you want to figure things out. This is why you want to launch your business ASAP within those 24 to 72 hours. And you don't want somebody else. So I'm I'm, before I get to that, I'm just going to say that when I got started, when my sponsor, Director Cynthia Rayleigh, told me I got started on a Friday night, Sunday I launched. And when she told me I was launching my business, in my mind, I'm like, how am I going to launch my business? I don't even know anything. But I also said in my mind, obviously she knows what she's doing. So I did not question her. In my mind, I was like, I don't understand how I'm launching a business that I don't know about. But I also said, Obviously, this lady knows what she's doing. She's been doing this longer than me. So if she's telling me that I need to launch my business, if she's telling me I need to think of these people and get them invited to my launch, I'm just going to follow her lead and do it. So your, your sponsor, your coach, or whoever, when they're telling you to launch your business, when they told you to launch your business, just follow their lead. They know what they're doing. So just follow their lead as nervous as you are, as confused as you are, just do it. One of the other things with thinking of those important people, right? So those family, you know, my mom, my sisters, my brothers, my cousins, all of my family knew about my business first. Those were the people who I launched my business to first. And sometimes what I see happen is that somebody, I've had people come to me and say, hey, Director Brown, the person that was just introduced into the group is my cousin. I'm like, okay, well, did you tell your cousin about the business? No, I never told her. So somebody else told your cousin about this opportunity and (laughs) it made sense to them to start this business and they did it. So you don't want that to happen to you. You have this opportunity. Don't be afraid to share it with your family and with your friends because when they get started, For one, they're going to be mad that you didn't tell them. And for two, you're going to be mad because you didn't tell them. So Mm -hmm. you got to launch your business, you guys. And that's exactly what we want um, you guys to do. Mm -hmm. So we started thinking about these people, right? We started with the list last night. I'm pretty sure even now, as we've been role playing and discussing this, you're thinking about people. You're thinking about those people that would deserve to be in those million dollar seats, those hardworking people, those driven people. Now, we want to launch your business. Yes. So you want to go into the details with it? Yes. Now, here's the play that we're calling. There's 
private launches where it's just you, your guests, and your coach that's going to do the presentation. And then we, some people do team launches, right? Where there's a webinar taking place and they're like, okay, we want you to le leverage the webinar that's happening at 7 p.m. and that's your, your, your launch. Okay, this is not that. Some of you do not have anyone in your million dollar seats because you've never launched before. Some of you, maybe you launched, but nobody signed up. So you don't even know if your million dollar seats are available or not. So the first thing that I want everyone to do is to check your matrix. And I'm going to show you exactly where you need to go. Hold on one second. Let me make sure I'm in the right spot. All right. So when you're here on your virtual office dashboard, you're going to click on virtual, my business, my matrix. And this is where you go to see, do you still have your million dollar seats or not? Is anyone in these first three seats? So that's the first thing that I want you to do is know, know if you even have anybody in your matrix or not and your first million dollar seats. But the play is for you to get with your coach and to have a private business launch. Private. The whole point of a private business launch when you first, first get started is for you to have the best opportunity to fill your million dollar seats with the right person, with the right people, and not just have anybody, somebody, oh, I just want to book travel, and now they took your million dollar seat, and then when they're not, they're like, oh, the commissions don't come in right away? Okay, I'm quitting. Now, you can't control what happens to the people, right? I didn't know Stephanie was a quitter, but I want to give everybody the opportunity to have a private launch with just their people and their leader. If I join, here's what I, here's what to me is not a good, I'm very thankful to Director Scott who signed me up on a Friday and he said, I, I, the person you know, Tanisha, me, the person you trusted to partner with me, I'm going to launch your business on Sunday. Invite your friends and family. And so I had the opportunity to reach out to, it was mostly my family, a few of my close friends. And they got to hear from my sponsor about my business. And he explained first movers advantage meaning you all are being exposed to Tanisha's new business before she tells anybody else. So that says a lot about why and how you ended up on here and other people aren't. I asked Tanisha to get the sharpest, most ambitious people that she knows and trusts. And that is why you nine are on here tonight. And so you have first movers advantage now, he didn't call them the million dollar seats at that time, um, but he explained to them that this was the foundation of my business and they are able, they're in a position to get in at the ground level. And the people who get in at the ground level will reap the benefits in the future as I grow my business. That's pretty much how he explained it. Now, the good thing about a lot of times it is mostly family that are on these business launches. But let me tell you why that's a good thing. Your family members, not a lot, not all the time, but they're less likely to quit on you than somebody else, right? If your sister, let's say you have a great relationship with your siblings, right? 
and your siblings, of course, they get on the on the Zoom because they want to support you. And then they end up joining. Do you know their siblings that are in the business right now? They're not doing apps. They're not doing anything with it. But they're not quitting because they don't want to quit on their sister or their brother. That's their support to them is, I'm going to hang in here and I'm going to pay the 60 bucks a month if it's going to help you. There's a lot of that. But guess what happens over time? You start building your business and now in your sister's matrix, who's just holding that space for you because she just wants to support you, she now got 300 people in that matrix. Now we're able to have a conversation with sister. And we're going to say, sister, I need you to uh, get me on the phone with some people about this business. Because if you just enroll four people, do you realize you'd be getting $1,000 a month right now? Because there's 300 people. Now your sister's like, oh, okay, wait a minute. What I need to do? You talking about I got $1,000 sitting in my matrix? Okay, now we can have a conversation. I thought I was just supporting you, but wow, this is a blessing. Let me, let me get some people in here. And now she wants to open up her matrix. There's several people in the business like that. So any questions about this. And here's what, um, let me get to the play. To have a private launch with your coach, your director, whomever, it could be your goal builder. And I want you to get it done by January 16th. which is next Monday. So you got this week to reach out to someone, a leader, who will help you launch your business. And again, identify your top 10 to 20 people. It doesn't matter if your $3 million seats have been taken or not. I just wanted you to know the status of that for yourself, for your own knowledge. But I want you to have a private launch, especially if you have never, has anybody on here never launched before? Never, 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 anybody? Everybody on here has been launched? Okay, good. Vicki, you haven't been launched? No, ma'am. Okay. How long have you been in the business? It was in September, September last year. Okay. Can you tell me why haven't you been launched? Uh, I really don't know. <laughs> okay. So I need you to get with your coach. Okay. And let them know you're in boot camp. I called the play and the play is for you to get launched. You, a private launch just for you and your guests by next Monday, the 16th. Okay. All right. Now, there are going to be, thank you, Vicki. There are going to be scenarios. And um, actually I was talking with my directors today. For example, uh, director Jody Wynn has enrolled several, I don't know, let's say three or four people this week, right? Or within the last two weeks. It's probably not gonna be, uh, realistic, a realistic expectation for her to have a private launch for each of those people. So she might get two or three of them together and say, okay, I'm going to la launch the three of you tonight, but it's just going to be the three of you and your guests. Now she's still able in that scenario to have this first movers advantage conversation with those three people and their guests, because all of them are brand new. So all of them have their million dollar seats open. And she's also able to really make um, that launch personal to the people that are in there. As opposed to look at Thursday night, uh, Sunday night. We had almost 90 people on that Zoom Sunday night. That was not the place to say, oh, we launch in Yolanda on the Sunday night, seven o'clock Zoom with 90 people on there. And Yolanda's inviting her people saying, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm launching my new business tonight. I want you um, to come. And then they're thinking, oh, Yolanda's launching her business. It's just going to be 
Yolanda's people. And then they get on there and there's like 90 people. Like that's not, in my opinion, that is not a business launch. You just invited someone to a presentation, but called it a business launch. I don't like that. I think it should be more personal for Yolanda and her people and to launch so that there's a, a personal conversation. Crystal, what are your, your thoughts on that, Director Brown? Am I, is it just me? No, it's not. I apologize. I've been answering the questions on Facebook. There were some questions, so I apologize. But I agree with that because um, it's more personable. Like you said, it's more intimate. When you get onto one of those weekly presentations, sometimes the, the host may even forget to even say your name. So you just invited your guests and you told them this was your private launch, but nobody said your name. It, it doesn't look like it's for you. It's all these other people on here. So that first one should be private. Even when I look back to my first launch, when Director Rayleigh told me to launch my business, that was a private launch. It was done differently. We did an online launch, but it was just for me and my people. And that was it. And so going forward, though, you're not going to have this private launch every single week, right? You're, you're, your coach is not going to give you a private launch every day, every week or whatever. But that first one, making it personable, I do definitely agree with that. And then you know how to invite, you know how to use that script, you got that experience. And then going forward, you do that same thing and use the weekly presentations that we have in place to invite to those ones. Absolutely, absolutely. So any questions about that? Everybody understand the assignment? All right. And you're also able to leverage me, right? My calendar is out there too. So I'm expecting to be busy doing launches for you as well, right? I'm not putting it all on the directors. There's a, I mean, we had, how many people were on here? <laughs> Well, actually we were maxed out. It's gonna be, it should be a busy week, but guess what? It should be a productive week because that is what we do, expose and close. So guess what? My directors, their calendar should be filled with income producing activities, showing the plan, whether you're at a weekly meeting or presenting or doing a three-way call or launching people. So this is a way, this is how we get the numbers up. And this is the way how, a way how you all get to understand what the process should look like. Income producing activity. Yes, Latoria. Okay, so I have a question. Mm -hmm. um, with doing a launch right now, so I started my business in May of last year. Mm -hmm. Isn't that going to be a little bit confusing doing like a launch now? Tell I mean, them you're relaunching your business for the new year. The fact that it's January is the perfect excuse for why you are launching your relaunching your business. Tell them you had a soft launch for 2022, but now you're having a relaunch for 2023. Mm -hmm. okay. And yeah. here's the thing. Here's an idea to take it even further. Why don't you put together a group trip so that you can also promote it on your launch. So now not only are you relaunching your business, but you're also launching this group trip that you have out there for people to, what, it could be anything. Do, make, keep it simple if you need to. Do a group cruise. Call Royal Caribbean, pick a cruise and say, listen, I want to block eight cabins for your August whatever cruise to the Bahamas, something and have that information. Here's the, here's the dates, here's the deposit, final payments due, have that information. We're going to the Bahamas or we're going, have something to present if this is, if you've been in business for a while. Because some of you have been in business for a year and your people don't even know you have a business. You keep putting posts out there like, who wants to be a travel agent, who wants to be a travel agent? Nobody's really responding. They don't see you traveling. So they don't even really believe you are a travel agent or have a travel business. So here, if you have been in the business for a while and most of your people kind of already know or have an idea because of your social media, tell them you're having a grand relaunch of your business and you have a special announcement that's going to be made. 
to kind of, you know, give them kind of build that, 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 that energy up. Oh, I need to get on here and find out what your special announcement is. And it's the announcement of your next group trip. Mm-hmm. What are your thoughts on that, Latoya? Um, I think that sounds good, honestly. I think I need some help with that. <laughs> with what? Putting a trip together? Yeah. Or yeah, we're just just putting just putting the whole thing together, you know. So I know we gotta reach out to somebody to do the um the launch. That's fine. But yeah, thinking of a trip and putting that together and just putting it out there for people to see and interact because like I said, I I mean I've had my business since May and it the communication, like I can put all kinds of stuff out and then people will look, I can see that you see, I don't see anybody very much likes, I don't see very many responses. So I think that it would be good, but yeah, I do need some help with that. Mm-hmm. Well, and two, you have to, it's almost like you have to be a product of your own product for people to really trust you with booking their travel right? People don't want to book with a travel agent. They don't see traveling or participating in their own industry. And when me and uh, Director Camette Turner got started, we both worked at the same job. We both didn't have money to travel and we didn't have the time off to take to travel. So yeah, it would have been nice if we could have went to Jamaica and showcased that. And yeah, we probably would have had a lot of people but that wasn't our scenario. So guess what we did? The first thing we did was go to a courtyard Marriott that was like 15 minutes from my house. Mm -hmm. And we went live and did a tour of this courtyard Marriott. We didn't even go look in the room. They had a beautiful lobby. They had a beautiful courtyard. They had a gym, they had a pool. And we just showcased that. And then we uh set ourselves up in their lobby and we just went live and talked about how we just we started a travel business and we're so excited about it and what the business was going to do and who had questions and da, 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 da. that's what we did for probably the first good year in the business just showcasing normal stuff where do you live latoria i'm in rochester new york Okay, I've been there one time. It was cold as I don't know what, but mm-hmm. I don't know anything about Rochester. <laughs> right? So, yeah, my husband's laughing back here. <laughs> right. So there's some there's some historical places and things about Rochester I don't know about. Go show me. You got a museum, go to the museum and go live and showcase that museum. You got a, a five-star hotel there. Go showcase that. Matter of fact, the hotel that I stayed at by the airport, beautiful lobby, beautiful. I was like, I walked in, I said, oh, this is cute. Restaurant on property. You could showcase that as part of your travel agency business. Hey, if anybody's ever flying into Rochester, I want to, you know, I'm going to be showcasing some properties that you could stay at, right? Here's one here. I forget which one it was called that I stayed at. Close, you know, 15 minutes from the airport, restaurant on site. So you don't even have to leave the property, whether you're here for business, they do weddings. They do. If you're planning a trip, here's my, you know, my email or my phone number. People got to see that you're engaged in your business other than you just posting about it mm-hmm. and hoping somebody sees it. I could agree with that. And if I can make a suggestion to with the trip, if you do, do decide to um, offer a trip on your launch and you're trying to figure out what type of trip to do, what to post, you can look at your news feed. Like people share all the time, different destinations, you know, bucket list trips, all of my newsfeed, I'm always seeing people sharing different locations, cruises, whatever. So you can go through your Facebook, go through your Instagram, see what destinations people are talking about and put a trip together for that destination 
or maybe you know let's say you're inviting your family and friends and your family been talking about going to Jamaica forever great now you can put together a package to Jamaica and promote that on your launch and to clarify director Burt because there were I saw two at least questions just to clarify the launch should be with their upline director or can their goal builder do it as absolutely well absolutely the goal builder whomever is qualified and able to do it it doesn't have to be the director the directors are already super super busy um so their calendar may not allow for you to you know to have 10 people say hey director you know tarshia can you do mm -mm. so you understand what i'm saying so yeah identify the gold builders lux if you're in the um if you're a gold builder or above you already have access to the other gold builders through the lux leaders chat you can ask in there hey i need somebody to do a, a, a launch with me a private launch use your resources use your resources that's very, very important. And this is another reason why you have got to be engaged in your business. This is why you go to the weekly meeting so you can meet other business partners. This is why you go to the dream makers so you can meet other travel agents. So when you have questions, you can ask them. But if all you do is sit home and stay on your computer, how do you expect to build a business? Relationships is the new currency. And so you have to build relationships both, both internally within the business, within planet marketing, within IntelliTravel, but also externally, your neighbors, your coworkers, your church family. Perfect example of what you um, was talking about with the group. There was, I did a post in here. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, I had did a post, was it this one? I'm probably not going to be able to find the exact one. Oh, is this it? This might be it. No, anyway. One of these posts that I did in here, someone had commented and said that um, they were interested in what prices were for Greece. I know I'm not going to find it because I'm looking for it. <laughs> anyway, but it was very, it was just very like, hey. You know, I was curious of, you know, what prices would be for Greece. And I, and so I just responded to them. I said, you know, thank you for your comment. I'm actually working on a, putting together a package for Greece. So stay tuned. Well, guess what? I had an idea. I was thinking about Greece or maybe the Maldives or maybe something, something. But because that person commented in my travel group about Greece, I said, yep, I'm going to put one together for Greece. Right. And so I literally just finished this package today through culture holidays. I love culture holidays because they have the packages all put together with all the information. And I put it together, you know, for Travel Joy through Travel Joy. Bucket list vacations by Lux Platinum Travel, Glorious Greece. I got the dates. The deposit is due this. Final payment due here. Click here for more information. Right. And through Travel Joy, this is what they see all the information, what's included, what's not included. All of this came right from Culture Holidays. I didn't have to think about it or in, I did have to go through and read it. Matter of fact, if you copy and paste, this is a side note from Culture Holidays, there's a lot of typos and possibly wrong words, probably because they're from India. Um, so please, please, please make sure you do a spell check and read all of the information that you are copying and pasting so that you are putting out um, a professional uh, information. But what's included, what's not included, the itinerary, I added this passport required, I copied the cancellation policy right from their page, 
Um, and then I got a package together for single occupancy and double occupancy. So all they got to do is select how many people are traveling and it automatically tells them what the total is. And then if they want to add any of these um, excursions, they can do that. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is it was because somebody commented about Greece in my travel group. And that's where I took my cue from, which is what Director Brown was saying. Go through your social media and see what people are talking about. But for you personally, if you don't have the money to travel, you can take a bus, a taxi, a Uber, or drive your car to somewhere around your city or somewhere in your state and find something to showcase. And guess what? It doesn't even have to be a hotel. Like I said, it could be a museum. It could be a new restaurant. It could be a food truck. And just talk about it and promote it as part of your travel business. This is what we do. And showcase that. Um, Director Brown, any, any questions? that we need um, from the group? I do not think there were any more questions. Um, people were just mentioning cultural holidays that they like that, but no other questions. And the ones that were in there, I, I answered those ones. Okay, all right. All right, so y'all ready to run this play? All right, and listen, the private launch, 30 minutes in and out. This is not no one hour long drawn out. Matter of fact, you have them use the big picture video to, to make sure it stays super short. Mm -hmm. But the whole point, again, especially if your million dollar seats have not been filled, there should definitely be a conversation about first movers advantage to fill your million dollar seats. And these are the people that are going to help you build this empire. Together, the four of you will build the empire together and reap the rewards. Okay. And again, my calendar is open. If you want me to do the your launch for you, my calendar, Director Brown, again, leverage the gold builders as much as possible, please. I do not want to um, over inundate the directors because they're crisscrossing the planet and doing presentations at hotels and stuff like that. So please, please, please leverage the gold builders as much as possible for this play, okay? All right, any closing comments, Director Brown? Or did we cover everything? I think we cover everything plus some. We turned it into a little snippet of a travel training as well. So that was good. I think we got it all. So all I'm right. looking forward to um, these launches and new business partners. Absolutely. And so uh, we will go live. I don't think we have any more lives. Nope. We don't have anything else until our Sunday night um, Zoom. Okay. So we'll see you all Sunday night. Have a great evening. Bye, guys.